Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the legendary Iron Man Long War of the Chosen playthrough Into the Void. Time to go with the Ultramarines, uh, VDM, Hunk, Venom, Snake and uh, Crusader. The Mac are going to get some uh, supply caches. We got Return Fire, we got a lot of beast-like creatures here as well. But we are 100% infiltrated and we have a relatively low um, baseline. So let's jump into the mission and see how many crates we can get. Look at that. forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Oh, we got close combat specialist. I like it. Firebrand will handle the rest. Let's test how well that is going to work. Okay. Mech begins to move up. Crusader. Our Shinobi takes the front. BDM. Good uh, shooting position. Venom moves to there and Hunk with the close combat quarters is moving up there for now. It's a pretty good, a pretty decent sized zone. So, as always in Long War, you gotta break your old habits, sometimes use a different skill and just experience it because no matter how good of a player you are, there is always a little bit uh, more that you can learn from actually playing and uh, using skills instead of just theory crafting them. I am as guilty as others to have preferences with their skills, but oftentimes when I'm then using different skills, I find out, you know what, uh, it's maybe not that bad, or in some of the cases, even you know what, it's actually super good. Should have used it a long time ago. Will do. What was that? My hope with close combat uh, specialist is that we're going to see a lot of uh, reaction shots. And one of the skills, by the way, that I will openly admit I have fallen in love in Got this playthrough is ever vigilant on uh, the. Um, on the rangers I used to not uh, use it or like it a lot uh, for the sole fact that it doesn't immediately give you any benefits in the pure shooting and walk fire is typically better if you're just trying to shooty shoot right but here's the kicker um, oftentimes I also found that my uh, um, that my ranger was the one with the biggest problems in keeping up and tempo or as I call it momentum in XCOM 2 is a real thing and for those of you who are unaware uh, what that means whenever you found yourself in a kind of prolonged firefight uh, with an empty magazine you need to reload and you just had off uh, off turns where you weren't really doing anything uh, simply because you either need to double move or you need to reload and you just planned poorly ahead um, then that is exactly what uh, momentum uh, means so sometimes you you just have a good momentum in your favor and you're trying to essentially uh, push in and everything really falls into into plan uh, whilst other in other times it it's just not working out and whenever those other times are happening I'm I'm asking myself could I have done something different in order to yeah prevent that from happening essentially and more often than not with uh, the Ranger the momentum problem appeared because I just couldn't sprint up far enough or when I was sprinting up I the Ranger was uh, not doing anything afterwards I was I, I was basically overwatch crawling and then the timer uh, proceeded uh, way too fast. So, um, over, um, Ever Vigilant nicely solves, the, uh, solves this problem in a really 
need way by giving you the option to simply double move and then still having an overwatch. That makes a lot of a difference. Really, do it really does. Good, enough, enough uh, rambling about uh, overwatches and all the good stuff. Uh, stuff where We're seeing where all of the enemies are. These guys are currently not engaging. 40% to uh, to get uh, the mech. Huh? Not the worst chances. Could also kill the mech. You know what? Um, a protocol for BDM. And since we don't have a really good way of breaking concealment, might as well do that. Okay, now of course it has just moved out of my line of sight. Ridiculous. One to we're uh, moving that's the reason why i'm marking them now i'm fully aware i if i would have just stood here it potentially would have been different that's a great uh, start starting with overdrive here Gotta be careful not to trigger that other pack right away, so we're taking a safe repositioning. Double kill. Double the kill, double the fun. Purifier gets marked. And. Alright. Get some into. Can't believe it. All right, Overwatch. And listen, Hunk again does not to trigger anything. Disoriented? No. Okay, Pliskit moves up. We're ready to get that uh, crate. Good. What we haven't done is place this here.
Let's see. Mm. Seems doable. If we put in dedication, we could reach this, and I think we're going to do exactly that. There might be a drone back here, so I'm preemptively putting run gun in. Good work. Advent's locator is down, and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Drone flew by here. Good loot. Overwatch, overwatch. We could uh, pick this one up, but it would cost us our concealment. And I don't like that. Found the last pack. We're taking a bit of a more close formation. Advent just dare lifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move. Yeah, we always aim for four to five crates. That's a good baseline. Or four to six crates. We exceeded. Great. If not, also okay. Of course, we're ambitious, so we would like to exceed it if possible. That's affirmative. This should wish. trigger. Bring it on. Berserk of fun. We're taking out the Berserker. Easy. Next up, Mark uh, the Heavy Lancer. Very good. Your uh, heavy cover will not mean a whole lot. Once I'm done with you. Last pack is a little bit further down the line I'm going. good moves into full cover and more damage for the berserker that's good Might as well command point over Ready to, to reload. No problem, boss. Just found the drone. I knew it was somewhere behind us. Maybe we can get that last crate. Yeah, not like that. Moves to here. Oscar Mike. I'm all over it. Good. 
and we barely got there in time. Father really outdid himself, didn't he? Marking more supplies. Overwatch. There's one more pack to the north. And we got ourselves a lot of nice shiny crates. Four more to go. This should trick uh, the last pack. But it does not. I'm on the move. Hostile forces spotted. All right, there they are in all of uh, their glory. Let's try to take them over. All right, that'll trigger them, but we should be fine. Enemy AI still active. We're too far away. Oh no, it was even fail safe. No problem whatsoever. Good, moves up to there. Moves up to here. Overwatches. Good. We, yeah, we got some loot that we cannot reach anymore. Moves up. Mark the supplies. Overdrive. That's a miss. Big fat reload. Let's kill the archer. Good, very good. Fantastic. We're putting in Reaper and we'll do a quick, uh, quick smasher rule. No more need to stay hidden. There we go. Snake Plisket at his best. Super far, even with dedication, he can't run that far. Okay, unfortunate, unfortunate. And we're losing a crate on top of it. Well, I think we got 10 crates overall. Overwatch. And almost all of the loot. So objectively that was not unsuccessful. Subjectively losing the loot in that one crate uh, sucks. Feels bad, man. Could have played it maybe a this little bit better. Bird. It's time to go. It's those little uh, things that are adding up over time Location confirmed. because if you loot more you also have more supplies right one two three oh you're already back cool four good reinforcements will be coming in but that's not our problem Let's go. All its come operatives are secure. Fire 
Cool. That will free up basically the mission slot so that we can more quickly find a new mission and more quickly do that uh, mission. I am wondering what uh, we're going to do with the master gunner sar uh, gunnery sergeants as uh, they don't really get more experience so maybe once we do have a full chapter with them I'll just leave them for the time being in favor of uh, lower level characters look at that hundred supplies again good stuff very good stuff and we will definitely upgrade to coil weapons now so I am expecting a lot of missions. Cool, blue screen protocol, that's helpful. We're definitely going to get that. Uh, lead by example is great. I never really fancied collector that much. Um, that'll be two, three intel per mission. Yeah, it adds up, it's not bad, but I, don't, I never felt that we were uh, having a problem with intel. Granted, lead by example is also just a small benefit, but it's a permanent one, so that's not bad. Strategic resource located. Okay, 10 and 10, that was good. Avenger plotting new course. Cool. So, more of our soldiers do have the Jammer ability. Now, Shinobi, Johnny Five. Uh, I need to reskill him at some point. Should I do that now? Johnny. So John McMullen is that Johnny Five. John McMullen, yeah. So in terms of his abilities, I think I'll need a bit of a reskill. Because I want him to have the ability to um, stop reinforcements. How long does the retraining take? Captain Johnny Bravo, uh, that is him. So eight days. Not perfect, but we'll get over it. Snake Plisket gets the gem ability. With high vigilance, this is just too good to not take it. Do we have any negative traits? Oh, we do. Well, in that case, use our all of our facilities to the absolute maximum. Cool. We have soul steel. Do we have any? Yeah. Well, see, that's the problem now. We have no missions, but a lot of soldiers. So we're a lot of psi operatives. We're putting the Haven advisor here. A little bit of micromanagement just to get more missions. And finally, extract advent supplies. That's a great mission. So we got bond training. Um, 
Almost everybody here is a Master Sergeant, so let's just wait with them. Haven Advisor, retraining. Well. Um, to be fair, we could just use. Uh, you're almost done. We could just use you guys on that mission. But Angels. Looks like a decent team to me. It's an easy mission though. Uh, we shouldn't uh, be sending them. Uh, should be sending kind of a beginner squad. Uh, you guys look good. Ah, no, 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 no. I do have a better idea. Clear that. How about... How about uh, we are just um, sending our Psy operatives? So if we're going with uh, Psy, uh, Psy Ops into this mission, That'll give us a very solid training routine afterwards. Let me fix that, find that out what we're going to do. Good. We're going to go in. It's not really the salamanders uh, that are going in. So that's a bit misleading. Oh, this is just a smash and grab mission with a lot of psi operatives. Avenger plotting new port. Which is hilarious. We're going to level them all at the same time. Anders Sanders, AKA Striker, finally joins us. Welcome to the team. You get your proper attire and as a personal combat sim, a bit of advanced defense so that you're not that easy to be hit. We'll do weapon upgrades and so on when it is needed. That brings us to the next rookie. I want to train the sniper now. That would be Beep Up, uh, yep. There we go. Another sharpshooter. All right, fantastic. Looks good overall. We're making progress. Setting course for the Indonesian zone. Got more supplies. And as you can appreciate, we still have assorted loot over here. Can't just let that uh, sit idle. And next up, we're going to make contact because I want to expand. We have plenty of contacts available. But we're now finally also getting the missions in. Get, uh, mm, we got a uh, Staff Sergeant Technical, which is great. Sealed armor and large map, but that's good. And 11 days, comfortable. If there ever was a comfortable mission. Yeah, we made the mistake of uh, slotting all of these under the salamanders. And now the salamanders are not available. That stinks. Um, Let me fix this. Okay, so let's yet another uh, mission on the way, which is good. Back to our assorted loot. At least uh, this one is playing out nicely.
Okay, that's going to start liberating the region. And unfortunately, we're just seeing a couple of recoveries, but nothing else happened. No recruits, nothing. Okay, well, guess it is what it is. That'll be the next mission. Advanced coil guns are around the corner, and once that finally hits, um, guns will be upgraded and snipers will be upgraded, and that will be a huge, a huge addition to what we're currently doing. Um, what I'm thinking is we're slowly but surely uh, kind of putting coil guns as the new standard for the damage dealers. And then also upgrading a few of the other uh, things, mech guns, uh, for instance. Then we're going uh, for plasma tier. Um, I want to full-fledged upgrade everything for everyone. But I would say with the supplies that we do have, maybe two or three squads should get it. Uh, so that we, that we can keep up with uh, the hit point gains so that's okay i think overall we're fine we're actually uh, pretty far ahead uh, as far as as far as um, resources go uh, the intel will uh, dwindle because i will expand soon uh, once i'm done with uh, scanning we'll do the expansion and hopefully our missions will um, continue to be strong at the moment if you just look at uh, the uh, if you just look at uh, the utilization, we have a couple of the lobbies are doing missions. That's okay, but from here on downwards, so gunnery sergeant downwards, we should do missions um, all the time. Anyways, that's it uh, for today. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.